A hue saturation adjustment layer can be used to change the color of an image. It would be logical to think, well, why would I want to use a solid fill color adjustment layer that we just learned about a few slides ago, which requires two to three steps to change the color of an image, when I could just do it in one step with this new hue saturation adjustment we're about to learn? The answer is on screen. A hue saturation adjustment layer adjusts all the colors in the image equally. As I move the hue slider over until I get the perfect shade of green drapes in the background of the image, I am simultaneously changing all the color, all the other colors in the image, and as a result, I've ended up with a green-haired purple president. However, there's still a time and place for hue and saturation adjustment layers. Depending on which settings are selected via the properties panel, I can still create some unique and not so out there results. In addition, I don't have to make an adjustment for the entire layer. If I select an area of the layer before creating the adjustment layer, the changes will only apply to my selected area via an automatically generated layer mask. This is an alternate way to make an adjustment to change the color of tulips like we did in a previous lecture. If you make the selection first and then apply the adjustment layer, um, it will work just like we did for that tulips exercise. The color balance adjustment layer allows users to quickly color correct an image if they can recognize there is too much or too little of a color present in the highlight, midtone, or shadow regions. The example image has too much cyan, so I am able to correct it by moving the cyan slash red slider away from cyan. This happens a lot when photographing glass and reflective surfaces. It also occurs when the white balance is not set on your camera prior to capturing an image using various light sources like an incandescent or a fluorescent light in a room.